Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to set up, use and care for the Roomba i4. When you first open the box, you will see the Roomba i4 and a charging dock. Underneath the robot, you will find the instruction manual and also a warranty card. Now, to set up the robot, you have to make sure you have the three essential devices. Your robot, charging dock, and the power cord. Plug the power cord into the charging dock and the other end into the wall outlet. Make sure you turn on the switch. We suggest you to tie the excess wires for better management. Place the charging dock near an area that has good Wi-Fi reception near your router will be the best. The Roomba i4 can be connected to either a 2.4 GHz or a 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. Place the charging dock on a flat surface and make sure there is a 1 meter clearance around the dock to ensure your robot is able to return home safely. Now, place your robot onto the charging dock and the clean button should light up. If it doesn't, please make sure the robot charging plates are in contact with the charging dock. During startup, the robot might take a few minutes for the system to completely start running. Once it is running, you should hear a sound and you will see a white light spinning around the clean button. We recommend you to charge the robot up to 8 hours for the first time. You can now download the iRobot Home app and connect to your robot. Now, I will show you how to connect your robot with the iRobot Home app. In the app, on the Add a Robot screen, select the Roomba. Please turn on your Bluetooth. On top of this, you must allow location permission for the Robot Home app. Denying the location permission will cause your robot to not function. If you have denied location permission, navigate to your app setting and allow location permission. You can give a cute name to your new little helper such as Kakak or Maria. After giving a name to your robot, select the Wi-Fi network that you want to connect to and click Yes Continue. If it's not the right network, tap Change the Wi-Fi network, select your Wi-Fi network and key in the password. To start the pairing process, press and hold home and spot clean button at the same time until you hear a sound. This process may take up to 2 to 5 seconds. You should see a swirling blue light on the clean button. Check the box, I press the button and tap continue. It will automatically search for your robot. It is now connecting to your robot. This process might take a few minutes. Congratulations, your robot is fully set up. You should read the short introductions for your robot. Now tap next till the end. Alright, we are done. Once your robot is connected, you can start to make it work for you. Tap the New Job Plus button on the top right corner to start. To pause your robot during a cleaning job, click Pause. To send your robot back to the charging dock, click Pause and send home in the app.
To set a schedule, scroll down to the schedule section and tap the arrow. Tap the add icon in the top right corner to create a new schedule. You can customize your schedule by time, day, and also zones. Without using the iRobot Home app, you can still control the robot manually. To start the robot, press Clean. To pause your robot during a cleaning job, you press Clean again. To send your robot back to the charging dock, press Home. If you want to clean a localized area, just press the spot clean. Place your robot in the area you want to clean. The robot will then spiral outward about a meter, then spiral inward back to the place where it started. In this mode, the robot will increase the suction power to give you the maximum cleaning performance. To keep your robot running in a tip-top condition, here are the care and maintenance tips you should know. To clean the side brush, use a small screwdriver to unscrew, then take out the brush. Remove any tangled hairs and you're done! To clean the front caster wheel, take out the wheel first. Remove any hair that is stuck inside the wheel. After you've finished cleaning, reinstall the wheel and you should feel a click sound to indicate that the wheel is fitted back properly. To clean the main brushes, take out the brushes and remove any tangled hair. Remove the dirt bin and clear dirt from the section port. Before you fix the main brushes back, make sure the brush matches the shape of brush packs when you install. To clean the dirt bin, remove the dirt bin and throw the dirt and dust. To clean the filter, take out the filter and tap it on your dustbin. To wash the dirt bin, use warm water to wash it. Make sure the dirt bin is completely dry before you place a dirt bin back into the robot. Make sure you install the filter correctly, if not, your robot will not be able to run. Precautions Here are some precautions you must know. Your robot should not clean wet surfaces as it is neither waterproof nor water resistant. To prevent short circuit or damaging internal parts, make sure you always place a robot and charging dock at a dry location. Also, if your hands are wet, do not touch your robot and charging dock. You should remove the battery if you don't intend to use it for more than a month. Do not use unauthorized charger if not 
the battery may overheat, which can lead to smoke, fire, or explosion. If the cord or plug is damaged, you will have to replace it. Always remember to disconnect your robot from the charging dock before you clean it. Do not disassemble your robot and charging dock because there are no user serviceable parts inside. Alright, we have come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching and if you have any doubts, kindly contact or drop your message to us. We are always welcoming you. If you need a cleaning service for your robot, kindly contact us at our website as we do provide a thorough cleaning service. Goodbye.